All right, Associate Athletics Director Erica Hansen Barnes joining us. Erica, always fun to, to be able to follow these teams around here this week at the Pac-12 tournament uh, with the women's team. So, what is your role? Are you just here to support? Do you uh, what kind of work? What kind of work do you do here with around these events? I always do a little bit of everything. Um, one of my roles being this being the Pac-12 tournament, being part of the Pac-12 Council. I'm our senior woman administrator. Um, I also oversee all our Wildcat Club fundraising efforts, so it's fun to see our fans here, um, but just really to support the team because they work hard all year to get to this point and they put their best foot forward starting here at Pac-12 Play for the postseason. How many miles do you think you log every year following <laughs> Arizona athletics across the country? <laughs> you know, I should start logging it. The beautiful thing about Vegas is that, um, and about Southwest, is that I have about, full disclosure, about five one-way flights right now between here in, in Tucson and then um, here to Los Angeles based on how we play. But we're going we're gonna to be here till Sunday. But if not, um, we've got some flights to L.A. to kind of catch up with our men's team too. Then we'll go back home and, and regroup for just a day and a half or so and then come back here for the men's next week. So it's a nice kind of run for the Pac-12 group. What do you, when, when constituents, the Arizona alums, when they talk to you, what are some of the things they say about uh, the program and the state of the program right now? Uh, they've been proud of them, a lot of, lot of toughness. Um, obviously with our, um, the, the smaller roster this year, I think has been um, a lot of the talk, and, but people just love the way they play. I think that's, that's how it's been, obviously with a lot of the overtime games, but still that energy and McHale and watching the girls play so hard um, and play physical and play smart. I think that's that's the, been the biggest takeaway. You got a new boss. Yeah. Yes, Desiree yeah. Reed Francois, early yeah. impression. Yes, oh, she's great. You know, obviously the industry is a little bit small when it comes to um, women in the administrative um, roles. And so she's been someone that I've um, looked up to for a long time and have, have been able to get to know through women's leadership groups and um, career development. And so I'm very excited for her to come back out west here, like she mentioned. And um, being here, we didn't, we, um, we just missed each other when we were here from her law school to um, my time here at the U of A playing softball. So very excited. It's been a day and a half um, so far, and so far is really good. So what do you, what do you like about her philosophy? Uh, I like her leadership style. Um, she is very much about that college athletics is moving fast, it's quick, it's ever changing, and she wants to be sure that we keep up with that, with that high energy, um, low ego, and um, making quick, concise decisions. And we got to keep moving for our student athletes and our programs. You were on the court last week uh, with Kenny Lofton for his honor. Uh, uh, what, what was that like for him last weekend? Oh, I am I am so thrilled. I oversee the A Club Letter Winners Association, and so obviously I have a very soft spot for former athletes. And he has been one as as kind of we have an internal heritage committee um, that we look at the Ring of Honor and, and and jersey retirements and just different recognitions. And he has been one that we have always said he is so unique. And he's not the straightforward criteria, but how cool is it to be a multi-sport athlete and represent, I think a big thing that we talk about with the Ring of Honor is that you're representing um, the department in a first-class manner, and he's been doing that his entire career. Softball, obviously, was your sport at the University of Arizona. What do you like about the way that Caitlin Lowe's got the program positioned now in year four? Uh, I like her style. Obviously, we've had to um, redshirt um, some of our athletes this year. But what I love, and you're going to say I'm biased, but we have seven of the nine players are left-handed in the lineup there. So <laughs> it's a lot of fun to see that short game. And then when I'm sitting with Candrea and uh, we, we were talking about some bang-bang plays, I said, you know, you started this. You started this whole short game development in this in this sport, so it's been really fun to watch to see that continue. Yeah, what's he like to watch a game with? Is he a nervous guy? Is he is he relaxed watching his old program? Well, now I laugh, and I'm glad I don't know what I didn't know then because of what he mumbles sometimes. I'm like, oh, what did he say about me if I didn't get the bunt down, you know? But he's been uh, no, he's been a lot of fun, and he's um, really proud of Caitlin and likes the way that she handles herself. And he's relatively quiet with that, and knowing that everyone has their own uh, coaching style, but. Again, a, pr a proud papa of our coaching staff and of our athletes. All right, Erica, continue doing great work. Thanks, David.